We're out here again, man, for another uh, Friday afternoon on the corner of 6th Street at Natchez. Waking up the lost sheep of the House of Israel, the so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, man. We are the true Israelites according to the Bible, man. The lost sheep, the only ones that Christ came for, man. Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the only ones that Christ came back to save, man. Not every goddamn body like they teach you in the Christian church. But we first have to come first have to come together. We first have to know who our neighbor is and who our enemy is, man. And we are out here for the lost sheep. We are out here for the for the ears of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans and no one else, man. Go ahead. Book of First Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. And this is for every black man, every uh, Latino man, and Native American man, man. It's time to grow up. It's time to grow up and understand the times that we're in, man. We're in the midst of World War III. And we're preparing the souls of our people, man, to understand the, what corner you belong to, what nation you belong to, man. And the Bible says for us to come together, man. Right. Go ahead. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. That's right. One more time from the top. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. Listen, man, for all you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, before you come into the truth, you, did, you, you, you conduct yourself like a child. You don't know no better, man. You just absorb everything that you're, that, uh, that you're exposed to in your early childhood development years, man. You don't know no better. You, you eat whatever's put on your, on your on the kitchen table, man. Even if it's pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You celebrate birthdays because you don't know no better because you're a child, man. Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you celebrate Christmas, Mother's Day, New Year's Eve, Fourth of July, because we are children, man. We think we think like children, man. And we need to be we need we need to be taught and told how to become. Uh, men of the Lord, man. How to become daughters of Zion, man. And they're only going to be taught that here in the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge under commanding General Yohanna, man. Right. We need to wake up, man, and come home. Quit being children, man. Go ahead. But when I became a man. But when? But when what? But when I became a man. But when I became a man, go ahead. I put away childish things. I put away childish things, man. These brothers back here in the ISUPK, we used to live like ignorant children, man. But we got but but we got wind of the truth, man. We started asking those important questions. We walked over to the table and, and, and started asking questions. Grabbed us a flyer. We found out what's the number to call to put in my brick for my kingdom, for my nation, man. How can I show that I give a damn, man? Where do, where do I go to grow up to become a man, man? To put away childish things. You have to be taught, man. You have to be taught by the ordained men of the Lord, man. And you'll only find them here. These brothers here in the ISUPK, behind these signs, under this banner, man. Getting into class. We teach class seven days a week. Get into class and stay in class, man. Right? Put the blunt down, put the cigarette down, and stay in class, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Prepare, prepare your soul for temptation, man. And it doesn't get easier when you come into the truth. You know what I'm saying? You're still beholden. You're still held responsible. You're still held accountable for keeping the things that we teach, which are the laws, statutes, and commandments. You're still held accountable for coming together, for acknowledging that we are the nation least desired, man. And these other nations want to see us destroyed, man. Has to resonate with your spirit enough for you to want to come over here and grab you a flyer, man. And understand that now is the time. Now is high time for blacks and Latinos and Native Americans to come together, man. Quit walking up and down 6th Street distracted, man. Distracted. No only come here to 6th Street knowing you're going to get drunk, knowing you're going to get stoned. No one is going to walk up and down the public half dressed for likes on Instagram and OnlyFans, man. Sixth, sixth place is no different than Las Vegas, man. You know what I'm saying? What they call Las Vegas? Uh, uh, Sin City. You know what I'm saying? They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Listen, man. 
No, no, listen, the Lord sees all your, your deeds, man. Just everyone will be held accountable for what you know. And for blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans in the city of Austin, you're held accountable for these truths. You're held accountable for the work that we do, man. Because we give a damn enough to come out here and seek streets to wake up our people. Man. That's right. Uh, where we at? Okay, we are not the Christian church, man. We are not Christians. We are not a religion. We are a nation of people. A nation of 12 tribes, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're the lost sheep, according to these scriptures, man. That's right. The King James Version of the Bible, man. We're teaching our people the correct interpretations of these scriptures, not the Christian church. Christian church is full of weak, effeminate, little men, man. Oh, on the pulpit, in the choir, celebrating the 4th of July, man. That's right. Serving up pork, chop, pork chops. Right. On the church grounds. Eating shrimp, having shrimp and crawfish balls at the Christian church, man. Smoking weed and hotboxing it in the car before you go into the Sunday service, man. Goddamn the Christian church. Christianity, listen man, if you're a Christian, you have a mental illness, man. Because the, nothing, there's nothing in the Bible that affirms Christianity, man. Right. Christianity is nowhere in the Bible, man. Give me where we at. Book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. This is the book of Exodus, man. This is the book of Exodus. To the scriptures that the Christian church doesn't teach our black, Latino, and Native American men, man. Go ahead. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a what? A man of war. The God of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans is what? A man of war. The God of the Bible from Exodus 15 and 3 is what? A man of war. He is a man of war. He is not a woman. He is not gender neutral. That's right. The God of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, he is a man, and he is a man of warfare, man. Right. The God that we serve is about that warfare, man. He's about that action. And he's waiting for, for, for men of war, man. Men who give a damn about the suffering black Latinos and Native Americans. He's waiting for us, man, to guard our loins and come into class, man. To put away our childish ways. And to grow the hell up, man. And start loving your brother as yourself. That's where it starts. And it starts with getting the hell out of the goddamn Christian church. That's right. Before you catch a disease. Go ahead. Christianity the Lord is his name. The Lord is his name, man. The God of the Bible, he is a man of war, man. And the Lord is his name. And he's the one and true living God, man. The God that we serve, he is a living, jealous power, man. He is a consuming fire. Thus say it the Lord, man, as it is written. This is our power, man. And we're here trying to give up, empower our black men, our Latino men, and Native American men, man. We're trying to empower our people by giving them back their true identity. And letting them know that Christianity is running our communities into the ground, man. And we're only out here every Friday on the corner of Six and Natchez for blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Christ wasn't a Christian. Christ wasn't a, wasn't a Christian. He's Christian as a derogatory statement in the Bible. In the Bible, they use the word Christian as a derogatory word to describe a follower of Christ, man. That's right. But we're following uh, 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 God's laws down to the T, man. Israelites, the culture. You know what I'm saying? We are the Israelites. We are practicing our culture, man. It's our birthright. And we pass it on to our own children, man. The children born in this school will never taste pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster, man. The children that we were raised in this school will never celebrate a goddamn birthday, man. The children that are born in the ISUPK will never celebrate Christmas. They'll never believe in a Santa Claus or an Easter Bunny, man. Thanks, Jim. They'll never celebrate 
Thanksgiving, which is a celebration of the death of our brothers. That's right. It's the so-called Native Americans, That's right. the tribe of Gad, man, the tribe of Reuben. That's right. Our people. We're not forgetting the Trail of Tears, man. Right. We're not forgetting our people being hung on trees and light posts burn. and burn barbecue on the Fourth of July. The 4th of July. That's right. we, have, we have not forgotten our Mexican babies and brothers. Locked up on those cages, man. Right Separated from their own mothers, their own families, even as we speak. That's right. Being ripped away from their families. Damn. And tortured. And God knows what they're doing behind uh, closed doors to our people, man. Right. But we haven't forgotten. Right. We, we haven't forgotten that. We love one another, we love one another man. Right. We love our people, man. Right. And we are the ones who Christ came for, man. And we are the ones who, who we come out here and teach. All jokes aside, you know how niggas be like, I'm this and that for life, and this and that for life. Hey, you don't receive her what? Her plenty! In the SUPK, we ain't worried about the coronavirus. Right. How many of us do you see with masks on? Right. How right. many of us do you see out here afraid with gloves on? The world turned his back on me. I'm a cripple. We got soldiers. He got soldiers, but I got Don't different sit here, ones. Don't sit here, and put the hot bar. What's my goodness? And this is all the line. Cut the fucking line. Otherwise, get the fuck out of here. Right, right, right. 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 Please forgive me for the time that I did. And bring his gift. Nosotros somos una nación. Nosotros somos la misma gente. Nosotros. El mundo sepa que nuestros hermanos negros y hermanos moranos ya no estarán separados, pero se unirán para hacer grandes cosas por todos las doce tribu tribu pereras de Israel. Come, yes, you're out.